Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, I wanted to share with you the top five ways. These are surefire ways to destroy your engine and your automobile. The number one surefire way to destroy the engine in your car is playing coolant roulette. Coolant roulette is when you have a coolant leak that you don't deal with and you keep topping the coolant off. The sad part about it is some vehicles don't even have a low coolant light. Cars do not use coolant. So if you're low on coolant and you have a low coolant light warning, it's because you have a leak somewhere, a leak in water pump, a leak in coolant hose, a leak in uh, heater core, something along those lines, or your radiator's leaking. If you have a leak, you need to get it fixed. If you can't afford to get it fixed, I doubt that you can afford to replace the vehicle. So, number one, don't play coolant roulette or you're likely to destroy your engine. Number two, running your engine low on oil. You need to learn how to check your engine oil. If you don't know how, look at the link in the about information below and learn how to check your engine oil. There's two ways to do it. One, you can check it when it's stone cold. That means it's been sitting for several hours. You pull a dipstick out, see how much oil's on the stick. But the best way to check it, pull a dipstick out, wipe the dipstick off, put it back in there, pull it back out, and make sure it's between the minimum and maximum mark. If you run your engine low on engine oil, it will sure enough damage or destroy your engine. The number three surefire way to destroy your engine is to fail to change the engine oil and filter as recommended in the owner's manual. Here in the owner's manual, you see that the engine oil should be replaced every 5,000 miles or 12 months whichever comes first. If your car has a turbocharger or you have extreme driving conditions, it should be changed every 5,000 miles or six months. So failure to change your engine oil as recommended in the owner's manual is a surefire way to destroy your engine. Number four, this one kind of boggles me, but using the wrong viscosity engine oil can destroy your engine. As you could tell in my owner's manual, it has a temperature range for my climate and my living conditions, and then it has recommended oil based on the temperature of my living conditions. Right now, I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The temperature is ranging between 68 and 104 degrees. Based on that, I should probably be running 1040 or 1540. If I decide to run 530, which is only good up to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm probably going to damage my engine. Why people are doing that, I don't know. It blows my mind. You need to check your engine oil requirements in your owner's manual, look on the cap, or do something like that. But people, why would you run the wrong oil weight type and viscosity in your engine just because somebody told you some other kind of oil was good to use. Use your owner's manual. The engineers that designed and built the car knows what's best for the vehicle. I use full synthetic in all of my vehicles. I think it's a better oil, but the most important thing is that you run the proper oil. So. A number four way to destroy your engine is to run the wrong weight oil in the engine. One of my good friends, John, had a nice Toyota Camry that he sold a couple. The Camry had about 130,000 miles on it. Those things, when properly cared for, normally last three, 400,000 miles. He had recently did an oil change on it before he sold it to the family. For some reason, the family didn't trust him. They took the car to a mechanic and had the oil changed. For some reason, that mechanic put 520 in the engine instead of putting 1030 in it. 
200 miles later, the engine seized up using the wrong weight oil. I also heard a guy write a story in one of the forums about having a car with about 130, 140,000 miles on it. He decided to switch to a 530 weight oil because he was getting a better price on it. He said within 20,000 miles, 30,000 miles, both of his cars had dramatic engine wear and needed to have the engine rebuilt. So it is critically important to put the right oil in the vehicle engine. Last but not least, a good way to destroy your engine is to strain the engine before it's warmed up. You should never drive a car aggressively when the engine temperature is cold. So when you start your car, you drive it modestly until it warms up. After it's warmed up, you can drive it more aggressively. But revving a cold engine is a sure way to wear it out. Adding stress or strain to a cold engine wears it out. And another thing is if you have a car that has a turbocharger, over boosting it at low RPMs can destroy an engine too. And that's if you have a bad wastegate or something like that. So your top five ways to destroy your engine if you'd like to do that, just follow these examples. Number one, playing coolant roulette. Number two, driving the car with low engine oil. Number three, failing to change the oil when it's supposed to be changed. Number four, running the wrong oil in the engine. And number five, adding stress or strain to the engine, especially when cold. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.